in Ethiopia, if we didn't take a gold medal, the silver is nothing. We run only for gold. When we win Olympics and World Championship, the next day all the road runners, too many runners, small children, big women, everybody running. When I was second, I feel like 10. I can't expect. Uh, uh, my, my inside is not happy. Uh, in Ethiopia, only the gold, they, the people uh, think they, uh, they want. The second is, is not nothing. I dream like a big athlete. When I run, I'm going to the forest, maybe Sundays. I'm going to a big stadium. I run, maybe I'm going to build medals. I dream like that. Masarek Dafar is one of the most accomplished performers on the track. In the 5,000 meters, the Ethiopian has taken a medal in every global final since 2004. was uh, quite a bit slower. She threw in about a 69-second lap. She's got to go under 63 seconds on this final 400. 93 pounds, 23 years of age. The crowd on its feet just dripping applause. 9, 11, 97 is what we're looking for, and she's going to be very close. She's got to keep driving to the finish line on her 7. 908, 909, she's done it. 9, 10, 47, she breaks the record by a second and a half. An outstanding last lap right around 62 seconds. And so hard must that be to do that pretty much. Messer at the far picks, 14, 29, 73 at 200 meters to go. 65 second lap and look at her go, the clear favorite. She can sprint off any finish. Chariot is doing her best to come back at her. Second in Oslo in the world record race. Could be a Kenyan two and three, but Messer at the far is gonna win this race. No question about that. Messer at the far, the Olympic champion now adds world glory. And it's Kenya one, two, three behind her. I would like to dedicate this award to women in my country who wake up every morning without anything to eat and work hard each day through every difficult condition in order to survive. I hope this award proves an inspiration to every child, sister, mother and dreamer. She can't cruise round, but she is going to, going to produce something special here in the rain in Birmingham. 
And there she goes, so she hears the bell, off she goes. That was a 70 lap, now she needs to find something special. The crowd are on their feet here, there's not many of them left, but people have stayed behind to try and cheer Meseret to far on. She will go into the old time list if she does It's just a hundred meters to go. Watch the clock. It's counting down all the time. She can't see it. She's just got to drive to the line. Meseret de Far with a wonderful piece of distance running. Watch the clock. It's a... My word. How on earth can you do that? She came here hoping to produce a world championship qualifying time. What she's done has produced one of the fastest 10,000 metres of all time and in my view, one of the best ever in tough, tough conditions. Off the back a little tiny bit. Coming up to the bell then in the women's 3,000 metres, Meseret Defar bidding for a fourth consecutive title. Now she puts the gas on. Now the crowd roar, Ijegu gives chase, so too do the two Kenyans and also Bikaili of Turkey running wide and hard on the outside. But now Meseret Defar kicks again. She was denied last year in the World Championships, not to be this time. Meseret Defar wins, Chariot gets sick. That was a class, class piece of distance running by a woman who at the moment is way, way out in front, ahead of the rest. Indeed, all credit to the uh, Kenyans for trying to challenge the uh, Ethiopians. In this year, on the world, we are still in the middle of the final. And the results of the Oslo were decided by the Messer Red Depart. We are going to play and we are going to play. We are going to play and we are going to play. Ten years old, set the world record for two miles here in 2008. Did the far to use some boxing terminology? This is a catch distance for both the far and Simpson. The far coming down to 3,000. Jenny Storm at 100 meters now ahead of Gebrus Lassi and uh, Halili in second and third. But she heads down the home straight now. The crowd roaring at home. What's the clock? The time is useful. It's no world record, that's for sure. 8:33.59, but it's by a long, long way. Bronze in the last two Olympics, and a gold, a silver, and really going at full throttle now. Turnus to Baba, who won. But what a battle she's been given by Defar, the former champion. Defar into Baba, chariot finishing fast as well. Well, what a race it is! It's an East African triumph. De Barber and Chariot and Defar. A strange race. It was a tactical race, wasn't it, really? But she's absolutely elated. <laughs> Look at that. And exhausted as well. Look, ah, oh. there's obviously a message in there somewhere, isn't there? Well, from Christian community yes. in Ethiopia. Yes. Yes. And I think that was the, uh, the 2:39 last uh, kilometre there. Allowed the far very emotional at the end there to uh, that. Been a little overshadowed the last few years, but she is a very great runner. World champion, Olympic champion twice now. Meseret Defar of Ethiopia is the first woman to win the Olympic 5000 meters title twice.
side with uh, De Defar on 10 points and De Barber on 8. So Defar is the diamond winner and uh, on the basis of this race and a fabulous last uh, 400 metres and this uh, 5,000 metres, she really is an elegant... Uh, Gap's getting bigger. Girono's tiring. She's coming past Ayana. She's going to move into silver medal position, but it's not going to stop Meseret Defar. The Olympic champion is once again the world champion. in Ethiopia too many women they don't have opportunity to learn to run to do everything in Ethiopia the women and men move the same level uh, God uh, give me this opportunity 